Hey everybody, welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Dagobah Orbital Fights. Uh, we are still in the map pack, the Sky Ground. Um, currently in the forest one, as I like to call it myself. And people! Though I think that the um, Sky to Ground map packs are wonderful, this map proves that not everything can always last joyfully because this map doesn't look very good the way that the fog is set up is horrible now obviously I get that Dagobah is a very foggy planet but then my question is why choose it as a scenario for this I mean the sky battling becomes more you shooting at the fucking red icon than seeing the actual enemy. Whereas you are in Yavin, you are looking at you know, a green... Oh god. In Yavin, you had the problem where the trees would spawn right in front of your face, which was kind of bothersome. But here, you have that ugly, gray sort of landscape that you're constantly looking at. It's just not nice to look at, where some of the other maps are actually very cool to look at. It's just, it feels shitty. I don't like Dagobah as, you know, as the a good sort of background to do, a, to do fighting. You can see here that it lacks, or it has a problem with the fog, that it's not consistent, which means that... Um, sniper rifles are way overpowered because they can see way further than we can, or the regular troops can. It is a huge map though, as you can see. A lot of action going on, problem is you don't see it. Now the other map that is in this map pack is Endor. I believe Endor is not as bad as this, but... This map is definitely not worth it, in my honest opinion. There may be some people that like this. In all honesty, I wouldn't know why. The fog is annoying. This shit is more annoying where you see further when you're zoomed in. The scale is okay, I guess, but like I said, because of the fog, you don't get a sense of it at all. Hostiles have gained a command post. Our second wave of troops is being depleted. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this map. That I can tell you. Not a fan. That almost looked like I actually crushed him with the grenade hitting him. What the hell was that? Kind of trying to commit suicide here. Alright, good. See, this is... Hold on. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is bullshit, and this is one on one. You don't, you don't do this in maps. This is. I've had a lot of maps that did this already, and this is the, this is the biggest bullshit there is. I can shoot that dude, and it's a friendly dude. I know that, but I can shoot him all the way from here, and he has no idea that I'm actually hitting him or where the fire's coming from. I mean, I gotta say, it is kind of open. It is a lot more open than Yavin 4, and if the fog wasn't there, it might have actually been an interesting map. We have two walkers, which is kind of epic. They have tanks, they have walkers as well. I mean, the scale feels definitely bigger than Yavin 4, when you look through it, through a sniper scope, that is.
Skins are also okay, I guess. Just so bland. I mean, I want to test something out. Or not. That was very random. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Yeah, Yoda. Good job. I'm gonna try one more flight, and then uh, I'll leave it at that, because... Well, don't want to bother with this map too long. But yeah, I mean, look at this. This is so... Uh, this sums this map up in <laughs> one image. From yeah, from all of the map, the sky to ground maps, this is by far the weakest. In fact, I can't take it anymore. All right, guys, download link will be in the description. It is a map pack, so you will get Yavin 4 and Endor with it. Um, decide for yourself. I for this map is definitely not worth it, but maybe you're more of a fan of Yavin 4 or Endor. So uh, see you guys next time.